Icarus, fateful waxwing flyer. In the annals of Greek mythology, the tale of Icarus stands as a cautionary narrative about hubris, ambition, and the consequences of disobedience. He was the son of Daedalus, a master craftsman renowned for his skills in art and invention. Daedalus and Icarus found themselves imprisoned on the island of Crete, a seemingly inescapable predicament. However, the brilliant and inventive Daedalus devised a daring plan. He fashioned a pair of wings for himself and his son, Icarus, using feathers and wax. These remarkable wings were intended to be their means of escape, enabling them to take to the skies and soar to freedom. Yet, as Daedalus issued a stern warning to his son, he cautioned Icarus not to fly too close to the sun, for the intense heat would cause the wax that held the wings together to melt, ultimately leading to their disintegration. Icarus was explicitly instructed to heed this warning to ensure their safe escape. As they took to the skies, the exhilaration of flight consumed Icarus. He felt the wind against his face and the boundless freedom of the open air. However, the thrill of his newfound abilities led to hubris, and he ignored his father's counsel. Driven by a reckless desire to reach greater heights, Icarus soared ever closer to the sun. Inevitably, the sun's intense rays began to melt the wax that held Icarus' wings together. With mounting horror, he watched as the feathers detached and the wings disintegrated. Unable to defy gravity any longer, Icarus plunged from the sky and into the vast expanse of the sea. Icarus met a tragic and watery end, a stark reminder of the consequences of arrogance and disobedience. His story served as a timeless cautionary tale, reminding humanity that there are limits to our aspirations and that ignoring the wisdom of those who have come before us can lead to dire consequences. Icarus' flight and fall became a symbol of the relentless human desire to reach ever greater heights, tempered by the wisdom of humility and the acceptance of our limitations.